very first person to make book soup and uh, to, to go around with solar panels on our head. Um, he was the author of this little red book, which he really believed would ferment far-reaching social change. Came out in 1911. Probably not the 20th century's biggest little red book to create social change. <laughs> but he really had a bloody good go. It is called Sawyer's Paper Bag Cookery. <laughs> Uh, here he is with a, a, a turban, because why, why not? Here he is with, with a, a different turban, but looking the other way. You see, you see, William Cooper was famous in the 18th century for being able, being able to look both to the left and to the right. A lot of people in the 18th century could only look one way or the other. There's a lot of misunderstandings between people. I think the Thirty Years' War was about this. Um, this, is, this is fun. Oh, yes! That's fun. Sober! <laughs> because his constituency was full of um, radical shoemakers, Northampton's a hotline of radical shoemakers, <laughs> which I guess made Bradlaw a bit of a shoe Guevara. And she was, for the next 25 years, a full-time, freelance, landscape gardener, living in Bloomsbury. And um, basically, she is like an 1800s version of her. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What did I do with it? Who sort of is this? Papers, you see. Normally comedy shows don't require this many books. <laughs> the first poem in the Everyman edition. Verses written at Bath on finding the heel of a shoe. <laughs> Tips, like you do not need a ballot to clean your sink. Oh. 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 So he challenged him to a duel. <laughs> of paper bag cooking. <laughs> and he cooked 11 paper bag dishes and the judges ruled in his favour, but he had to admit all 11 did taste of paper. <laughs> by which mud-stained reputations may be cleaned after critical critical <laughs> <laughs> And who wants the landscape gardener, Fanny Wilkinson? <laughs> yeah. 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 Yeah.